Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Caveman Aston, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through the process of me making this, which is a tripod adapter slash boom arm that I'm going to be using for some of the future or a lot of the future video work I plan on doing. So, as you might have seen in the previous episode, I've made a lot of this. Um, what I've done is I've taken it a little bit further. I've made the brass knob, which will show you what I've done. And on the bottom, I don't know how clear it is from there, but I've uh, taken a 45 degree uh, dovetail cutter, put a 45 degree angle on here, which means it should fit into this particular type of tripod adapter, which is a Arca Swiss style tripod adapter. So I balance it on my shoulder there and squeeze this up, it clamps down and the tripod comes off. So the reason being as a so, yeah, so the reason being is I've made it ever so slightly too small because I didn't pay enough attention when I was actually doing all the cutting work. So what I'm going to do uh, a little bit differently because I've taken so long to get around to making this video, um, I'm going to put together the rest of the video um, and then I'm going to do a bit of a, a voiceover work on it. So hopefully you guys like this new or change up in the the way I do the video. Let me know what you think. So at least this way, the uh, the tripod does fit in. So it, it fits in one direction, which is quite handy. Obviously this bit still slides through. Um, and then you clamp that up, which is all good. Um, so yeah, so I'll basically do some, some video work um, or edit the video work that I've done do a bit of voiceover, talk through all of the bits that I've done. I ran into quite a few problems with this project, as I do with most. So um, I'll just take you through it as I go. Hopefully you guys like it. Okay guys, so what I did for the... Uh, so here's, here's the actual bit that I've been working on. And then that was swung around here, clamps on there, and was currently, or was using, a Allen head bolt there, but I wanted something I could actually use my fingers to tighten up and loosen so I didn't have to have a, a tool on me all the time. So what I did is I measured the approximate width of that to give me roughly how much overhang I could have without it interfering, trying to get this bracket in and out. Um, I got some of this which is 20mm uh, just brass, you can see obviously it's a little bit too big. So I've just turned it down in the lathe, um, ended up with this, so I turned down this uh, sort of the major diameter, I suppose, of it. Faced it off, give it a little uh, chamfer on the edge. Um, turned this down to whatever the threading size is for a six mil thread. Um, and then just put a uh, tap, or whatever the female male equivalent is. Um, just ran that down to put the threads on rather than doing a single point cutting. Um, and then passed it off. And once it was passed it off, I think I just rounded the edge over, probably with a file. Um, because I was waiting for the knurling tool to arrive, turns out it's still not arrived, I ended up ordering a different one from a different company. Um, but this was already an individual component, so it was quite hard to stick in the lathe without damaging the threads. So what I've done, I've just got some M6 nuts, like so. Stuck a three, well, uh, yeah. It was exactly three of them on, maybe four, so long enough for a fourth one. What I've done is I've put them on and roughly lined them up like that. And then what I can do is I've just uh, chucked it in the lathe with the free jaw chuck that's clamped on the three edges or three of the edges around the edge. And then I've taken the new knurling tool that I've got. So I've ended up buying one of these, which is like a, a multi knurl tool there. So I started off with this quite aggressive knurl here, because I thought, oh, nice aggressive knurl, um, won't be sort of stupidly smooth. So I started with that, and uh, if this doesn't come out, I'll try and get some even closer stuff up. But there are some quite deep knurl marks in there, um, and it just wasn't really quite what I was after. So I ended up going down to the, the super fine knurl, um, and that's turned out really quite nice. It's uh, really grippy, easy to turn, um, surprisingly, it makes a huge amount of difference as to how easy that is to tighten in the actual the block there. Um, so I've done that. Um, one issue I did run into was this nut. Uh, typically, I assumed, 
Uh, because the uh, logo was written on this bit here, I put that on the inside, so it's, I think, upside down, but it makes much of a difference. But it just means that that bolt is further away from the chuck, because obviously this didn't protrude very far from the chuck. Um, so yeah, so that's how I did that. Obviously you can see I put a couple of groove lines in just to uh, make it look a little bit fancier, I suppose. And that is that bit all done. I'll show you how I did the rest. Here I'm just using the marker pen and my calipers to mark out the slots that I'm going to need to cut. Uh, ready to put the dovetail slot into after. This is me actually cutting the slots. Okay guys, so I've managed to machine off the two slots either side, so now I've got a square in the middle and what I'll do is I'll use the dovetail cutters to cut on all four sides so that way I can put my new clamp, whatever it is, block of metal, it will fit into a standard Arca Swiss style holder in all four orientations so I can spin it around however I want. Um, the end mills that I've got, I'll try and get some close-up shots now. Um, They've got a threaded section at the top, um, and then this is the actual collet that it sits in, and then it's a threaded section on top of that. However, what I didn't realise when I ordered the dovetail cutters is it is a straight shank with a flat on the end. So I can slide it in to the holder and it won't thread up, doesn't clamp down tight, so I've had to pause this bit for a moment. I've ordered a set of ER collets, so hopefully they'll be here sometime soon, and I'll be able to use the uh, dovetail cutters. In the meantime I'm going to get some uh, brass sections and I'm going to machine some nuts to put in the clamp. So I will get on to that now. Here I'm just turning down the brass to size. Then I'm cutting a 45 degree taper using the compound slide. Uh, tapping the thread. Then final sizing followed by parting off. Then I just, on the back edge, just break the edge. Uh, then I add some grooves before I finish up. Unboxing the ER collet set I've been waiting for. Using the dovetail cutters at last. Not sure how best to use them, uh, so I kept on changing the height, changed the speed a little bit. Uh, I then broke one of the cutters, uh, not entirely sure what happened, but some of the uh, cutter bits snapped off. So I replaced it and then just went super easy from there on out. Alright, I've had some terrible audio issues, so I've had to switch back to the uh, standard built-in mic. I'm going to have to have a look into what's going wrong with the external mic problem for another day. But this is it all finished. What I've done just to demonstrate is obviously although the dovetail I have cut too small, uh, it's still got the standard tripod adapter thread in the bottom so I can just stick on a standard uh, plate and use it in a, a tripod as normal. Um, what I have done is I've ordered this uh, Arca Swiss style tripod adapter head. So because I'm going to need two of these, one of them is going to have the Tripod, for example, here. So, tripod, uh, slide, and then somewhere further along here, I'm going to have to have another one of these that mounts the camera. So, what I've realised that I can do is because this one's cut a little bit too big, I could either mill off that section or just maybe square it off. I can then mount this onto the top. So I'll, so I'll remove the uh, quick release plate. This as a whole can just mount on the top. And that means this can be used as my camera mount. And it's got a little swivel base, so you can just twist a bit here, hold the bottom, and it does spin. So I can use that. 
I'll make a new one of these and that is the one that the tripod will connect to and I'll make sure I don't cut those too small. So that's what's going to be in the next uh, episode of this tripod arm. Uh, next episode and part of the reason I've been so slow I've been working on multiple things while orders come in. Um, I've been modifying the lathe so I've got a load of covers so all of the ways are protected. Uh, that will be coming out soon. Um, thank you very much for watching everybody. Sorry it's been so long, but if you have enjoyed the video, enjoying my content generally, please do hit the subscribe button. If you really liked it, do hit that like button. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.